Uh, we are back with more of the Guy Dawson Show at the World Center of Broadcast mm-hmm. Media. Having so much fun. I'm hanging out with a money woman. Her name <laughs> is Holly Lynn, and she's the queen of capital. And we were in the commercial break, Holly. We were talking about one of your, your philanthropic endeavors and that you have a purpose behind money. I mean, obviously, you are someone who loves money, but there is a, a purpose that you have behind the thing that you love so much, and that's uh, you have a purpose for children. Yeah, it's a really big purpose. Uh, that's where we're programmed from everything. And, you know, from where you grow up in life, um, whether the influence is your mother, father, you know, grandmother, wherever it is, that is where you learn about all your finances. That's, you know, it's, it's where it, it starts. And it's very interesting because even till this day, you know, when I go to, uh, you know, pay any of my bills or, or take a look at mine, you know, my household, I still have uh, flashbacks once in a while on mine. But anyway, I know where you're going with this. So I am very excited about this, um, extremely. But um, I am going to be doing... Uh, collaborating in San Francisco with um, a uh, group called the United Players and um, I'm going to be holding a cash flow game for the kids Um, and we're going to be doing our first one next week and I'm I'm very excited about it yeah so she's talking about cash flow and it's called cash flow 101 it is a game that was created by by Robert Kiyosaki. He's, if you've ever heard of him, he wrote the book Rich Dad Poor Dad and a whole lot of others and has done a lot of seminars. But the game Cash Flow 101, uh, I, th- I, I love the game personally and I think for, for children to begin to learn about what they can do. It, it really, for a young person to be wired that way, uh, as a young person, I mm-hmm. think could, could really have a very positive effect on their life with finance throughout their lives well you know the truth is is that like take for instance when i um started playing the cash flow game as much as i knew about finances and investing uh and money management and stuff like that i had so many breakthroughs it even made me angry um i walked out of the game very confused you and see that. You see that quite a bit, actually. You do. People, you It, it challenges your, sis, your belief system entirely. And the coolest thing that I got from it, I'll never forget, that because this was a huge game changer for me. This is actually what made me go home and break all of my finances down and get messy um, and, and look at things that I didn't want to look at and, and get on the right track. But... I, the first time I played, I was um, one of the characters, I want to say, like, I was a plumber. And I, it, I believed that in order to invest, you had to be wealthy. You had to have a bunch of extra cash. You had to, you know, have a, you had to have plenty, like an abundance of cash to invest. Well, the truth is, is that some of the people in the game that were a teacher, a plumber, um, you know, somebody that wasn't getting these high and paychecks, uh, they were the ones who created wealth and got out of the rat race faster. And it's very inspiring. And so I'm really, really excited to, um, you know, play with the kids and facilitate that. And um, very excited to, you know, shed some light on, you know, them being able to be and do really like whatever it is that they want. Um, and having the reality that, you know, with the, um, these are going to be people um, in junior high, this this first one, you know, but when they do start to work or, you know, if they're getting an allowance or, um, uh, you know, whatever their, their uh, upcoming, you know, financial uh, thing is, is that they are actually able to, to do this. And um, yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, I think uh, Robert Kiyosaki was absolutely brilliant in creating that game, and he, it's something that's changing the world. Because if you're you're playing that game consistently, and once you can get beyond your your internal stuff, because I know 
most people have internal things around money but when you really look at it and you see the way that passive income works which I know is a big thing for you right uh, it it just you can see why there are some people who are just so successful in, in the world when it comes to money because like you they're getting it passively while the other people in the world are out there the government takes the money off the top they're uh, the advantages are in in creating passive income being on the on the B and the I side as compared to the self-employed and employees. Side. Let's expand on that a bit. Yeah, I like to play with that subject. Y you do not, there is no, uh, you cannot create wealth without it. That's just, it, it's the, you know, it's just the way that it is. I've tried. <laughs> I've tried. <laughs> and um, y my, I've gotten very clear that my job, you know, for my own finances is to uh, concentrate on finding returns. You know, that, that's my, and, you know, before I connect other people, which I do all the time, I make sure that mine is always working. So, it, you know, it's not uh, about, um, I'm never waiting on a check. It's never about waiting. I, I just make sure that I do what I can do to, to keep keep it flowing. Mm -hmm. What do you say to the person out there who doesn't really have a background in finance and they're looking at us right now, let's say, and they are just in an enormous amount of debt, don't have enough money to pay their bills every month. What do you recommend for them to start? to start to move in a direction of believing, even believing. Let's not even touch the fact that the bills themselves, just developing the belief that they can live a more abundant life or that at some point they can achieve passive income streams. For a lot of people, that is just so unbelievable. Okay, so big time. Okay, number one, don't believe it. Like, don't believe it. You don't have to believe it, but take action. Whether you believe it or not, take action. You know, um, sometimes what happens is people ruin their credit, okay? Um, that is how they, they get on this down world, you know, down, down world, wor down, wor <laughs> downward spiral. And it, it's this thing that just kind of takes over. And you don't necessarily have to believe that you could do it. Just take a different action take a different action in a different direction. So like take for instance, many people like their credit. Get some credit repair. Mm -hmm. You know, get some credit repair. Um, have, get, be okay with getting uncomfortable. Look at your finances and um, get a new financial structure. Um, that, uh, many people are interested in what it is that I do and connecting and um, you know, networking and stuff like that. Um, and before you even get to that part, that's what I would do, is I would definitely work on the credit and work on um, getting a better financial structure because it's not about the money. None of it's about the money. It's really about your habits and um, the financial habits, most of all, because your financial habits will create the rest of your entire life. That's what it's about. Yeah, it's just really fascinating to be speaking with the Queen of Capital. Today we are uh, touching on some subjects. Boy, money for some people is something that they would rather not talk about. And I think it's something that you should be talking about all the time. Because we have money. Money goes through our hands. It's in our pockets. It's how we eat. It's how we live. Guy, money is a very uncomfortable subject for some people. And what I love most about that is that um, I like to make it a comfortable subject. Like you would be surprised. Um, I'll meet people and within just a few minutes, right off the cuff, I will get into their finances because I care. You know, I care what's mm -hmm. going on with them. And um, I really, I'm, I'm very comfortable with straight out asking people, you know, what is your, not their net worth, but you know, what are you, what are you making? Like, you, you, let's figure out a way to get you more. Yeah. We're trying to figure out how to get all of you more out there. We have the Queen of Capital, Holly Lynn, on the show. We're going to take our last commercial break, and when we come back, I want to talk about living the abundant life. Yeah. Why money is important so that you can do things 
maybe we'll talk about some of your experiences as a result of knowing how to create a great deal of capital and and uh, yeah we we're talking about big money on the show today we'll see you in a few minutes <laughs>